Welcome to Valley Ford, Washington, where it's a great day for a photo shoot, on location at the home of Paul and Christy Pierce. As with any photo shoot, preparations for this one start early by first making sure the set is well designed with a colorful backdrop, props that are in their proper place, and is lit with just the right amount of sunlight. Next on the list, besides getting the camera ready to point and shoot, is making sure the green room is generously stocked with a variety of finger food for what is often a timid, high strung, and always wild group of female and male models. This all started back in 2012 when we went to a casino night and got little playing cards, miniature playing cards as drink tickets. Well, that spring we had one little chipmunk that would eat out of our hand. And so we thought, oh, maybe we could see if we could make it look like Mr. Stubbs is playing cards. And so we taped the cards together and put some bait on it. And I took a picture and it was like, oh my God. And so I just kind of played with it and fell in love with it. And then I realized that I really could work with them and get a little more intimate shots, theme shots. And really not only did I fall in love with doing it, I fell in love with people's reactions to it. Then in 2013, we decided to start the little company Friendships. As you might expect, working with cover models who are unpredictable and lightning quick isn't easy. Yet for chief photographer Christy Pierce, it's precisely what makes it so much fun. You have to have passion in what you're doing to be able to stand out here for a couple hours and be doing this because really the chipmunks are wild and they don't get along but the chipmunks kind of have a rhythm where they come onto the set and smell the bait and you'd think they just hang around but since they're kind of the low end of the food chain they keep moving but if you hang in there they come back around again you know noise doesn't seem to bother them too much Sometimes they'll make little voice noises to try to make them look up, and they've gotten kind of used to that. What will make them look up sometimes is if a bird or a magpie does something, and actually that's how I got the cover shot of the 17 calendar, was that you know everybody had their nose in the food, and a magpie made a big racket, and the chipmunk looked up to see what that was, and I got the shot. Clearly, wildlife photography of any kind is a challenge. But getting chipmunks, as Christy does, to interact with props built into the elaborate miniature set she and her husband Paul build together is something beyond the ordinary, if not, as she puts it, magical. It's just so much fun to make it look like they're doing something. I have a shot called Mr. Carpenter, and he looks like he's sawing a board. And actually, I, I did bait it to try to make him at least touch the saw, but he's not touching the saw but um, my baiting strategy is better. I've learned a lot about that and my preparation and just integrating my baiting when we're building the sets. I did a flagpole shot where we had holes routed in the pole, hoping that he might just stand up and maybe touch the pole. And as it turned out, he got up there and then did a great big stretch and I actually got the shot. So shots are better because the preparation's better. This winter, Paul and I spent a month building sets and it was just so much fun. And to be lucky enough to have a shared passion like that, because he likes to be more behind the scenes and you know, he's always kind of been intrigued with miniatures and building miniatures. And he can just make incredible things that are teeny, that just blow you away. These are examples of some of the sets that we put together this winter, this library shot has been in my head for about a year and a half and finally got it put together. And Paul actually made 130 little teeny books for my library. And then this is a wood gathering shot that we put together. And I'm gonna try to make it look like he's loading the logs into the pickup. And then this shot is very special because what started the idea on this shot were these little chicken figurines that my mother-in-law had. And these little chickens are about 85 years old. As Christy tells it, never in a million years did she expect to find such joy in a second career, especially one that puts her behind a point and shoot camera, making stars out of some of her favorite backyard friends. But now that she has, 
She's determined to make the most out of her newfound friendships. You know, people have these second acts or these hobbies that they end up passionate about, but Paul and I, we really always felt we had something special. And a lot of people agreed with us, but other people would say, oh, they're gonna think it's Photoshopped. Oh, who needs a calendar, you know? But I was so in love with it that I didn't let that stop me. And as it turns out, we were right. You know, it, it is something special and it's just endlessly rewarding. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.